Hey guys, it's Mike, the Bald Adonis. On today's video, we're going to talk about how I went through five, five sets of furniture, living room sets, in a year and a half. So as you guys know, I live with vertigo, a lot of chemical sensitivity. And part of this journey of mine, one of the things I had to get rid of was my old couch. Fine, see you later. Get rid of it. I go buy another one. Um, the first one was microfiber, and I got a one of those leather, fake leather ones, which serve its purpose. As I was going through the vertigo and the migraines, everything around me was giving me issues. So the new couch, I didn't find an issue with, and I had that for about three years. Now, as time goes on, as you know, things wear out. So instead of just restuffing the cushions and having a fine couch the way it is, I give it to a friend. See you later. Worst mistake I ever did. I wish I was able to keep that couch in the chair because the nightmare came on as, let's go buy a new, new furniture. I go to Jordan's Furniture up here in the Boston area. And I said, you know what, let me go for something different. I go get a sectional. And as I go to the store, I get the vertigo. I can smell all the chemicals. Get myself a couch thinking everything should be fine because the last couch I got was the same material. Get it home. Two or three weeks later, maybe four weeks, I'm having vertigo all day, all night. Well, I'm going to get home. So every time I go home, sit on the couch, vertigo. Even after the, we, the open up the doors, let the air suck it all out, they didn't do anything. So I go back to Jordan's Furniture, and they had no problem taking it back. So for them being nice, I said, well, let's step it up a notch. I'll get something more expensive, something nicer, and I do. I find a really nice real leather couch that has the reclining ends. So I just get that alone. It's just a nice, big, comfortable couch, beautiful couch. And get it to my house. I can still smell it. The, the chemicals, you know, furniture has fire retardant products in there, so you can't catch it on fire. Also, um, formaldehyde, that's in there as well. There's all kinds of chemicals on your furniture. So keep that in mind. After a few weeks, actually, I did pretty, I did okay with it. It lasted about three months. It was just mild enough that it was bugging the hell out of me. So I go back to Jordan's. And again, no problem taking it back. So I asked them, do you have anything that is like organic or non-chemical products? And they, they did not. I was like, okay. So I order a custom made couch from a company in California and they just specialize in organic, all natural furniture. I was very excited. The stuff was very pricey, you know, custom made stuff is, you're paying for it, right? So I just got one couch. It was custom made for me at 6'4". They made it so I believe it was 100 or 110 inches long by about three feet wide. It looked nice on the computer, you know, and the woods that I used, there was no chemicals in it. It was, it was kilned. I believe, or baked, so there was no stain on there, so the wood was beautiful. Everything was supposed to be great. I wait about two and a half months with nothing in my house, in my living room, nothing. I'm sitting there in an old chair. So I see the truck pull up, I'm all excited. I have my garage door open so they could bring it through the house. They start cracking the thing open right away. Instant vertigo, massive migraine. I'm like, this is organic, this is all natural. They bring it to my house before they can even leave. I was like, this, this has got to go. But it was a shipping company. They had to go do their thing. And I get back on the phone. Actually, not even the phone. I have to email these people. There's no phone number. They'll get back to you. So anyways, they did. And of course, I'm the only one that ever had a problem with their furniture. So they were nice enough to come and get it a week later. But in the meantime, I couldn't deal with the smell. I had it 
in my house for a few days and I just finally put it in the garage. And yet again, what am I gonna do? What kind of furniture can I get that the VOCs won't bother me? So I go on Craigslist, I see an office going, oh, I'm sorry, an office that was moving and they were selling their furniture. And I call them up and I said, listen, I get this issue with chemicals. I have to smell, smell your couch and your chairs to see if it would give me a migraine vertigo. They had no problem with that. So they were cool. I go there, it's a big, big office. And unfortunately, on the other side of their office was a printing company. And all you can do, all you can smell is more chemicals. I, I just like, I can't win. I just can't win. So for the price that it was, I had no problem buying it because I can clean it with baking soda, um, vinegar. It was that pleather, fake leather type of material. So it was durable. And get it to my house, it looked great. It was contemporary couch, contemporary chairs. Looked great in the house. But it had that chemical smell, driving me bananas. So I was able to deal with that for a while. All right. I'm forcing myself because every night before I go to bed, I'm sprinkling baking soda on all this furniture. And when I left, I would spray it down with um, vinegar to help get rid of the odor. Uh, tough, tough, you know, for, for people who have vertigo with chemical sensitivity. So one day, a friend of mine from the gym, his name is David. And David, thank you very much for helping me out. David so was selling his house, he's moving to Florida. And he goes, I have a leather couch. He goes, I got, I'm selling my house. I'm selling everything in the house. He's just going down there and buying all new stuff. So he gave me the friend discount, super cheap for a fantastic set of furniture. The first thing I asked him, what is it? He said it was leather. I was like, uh, I don't know about that. He goes, well, it's old. I said, how old? He goes, it's about 16, 17 years old. I said, well, the VOCs should be mostly gone. I'm like, all right, let's give it a try. So I go to his house about a week later and I can't tell. I can't tell if the couch is bothering me because he has a flower, I believe it was a lily, overpowering the whole house. Just one flower was so overwhelming that I had vertigo as soon as I stepped into the house. So for the price that he was given to me for and what he paid for it, I was taking it. So it was a big couch, a big love seat, the big chair with the big ottoman, all leather, high quality furniture. I was ecstatic. And it was also from being in separate rooms, different pieces of the furniture, it got sun dried, which gave it that really cool weathered, leathered look. And I fell in love with it. I was like, this is great. So I get home, I order some organic conditioner for the leather, for the leather. And I start doing all the, the seats over and was getting in there because that, that leather was really dry. So now it's getting softer, softer. And at that time, now I can start smelling the leather coming back out. It gives me some vertigo, but it's something I can deal with. But being in wintertime right now, there's no air going through the house, no ventilation, no, no windows are open. So I can smell a little bit more. It is giving me a headache, but something that I can definitely deal with. And David, I want to thank you very much. And I love the furniture. It's just a still bothering me just a little bit. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know five sets of furniture within a year and a half. On that note, ball down us out.